the the mid two thousands and stuff. You you kind of reference maybe not that often, but in, maybe it's just me like putting the background of like that time that like George W. Bush Iraq War post nine eleven time period, but like you've kind of referenced cable news and like these kind of talking heads. And that was like, it, that was that fucking moment. That was like a, it, it, it was, it was a toxic thing in that moment. That was just a massive influence. Now we have, that's all pre social internet and everything like that. You've kind of, and let, as far as I know, you've more or less bypassed participating in where like online media has gone. What's your like media diet like? What's your approach to consuming what's happening in the world and the internet and politics, any of that stuff now? I got like fully off, like like everybody, like during the pandemic, you know, I was, mostly I was here in this house in Los Angeles with my girlfriend at the time. And it was just the two of us and everyone, you know, so it was just like talking on the phone and looking at, fucking Instagram and shit and like I'd never I've never really been that big into like social media stuff I mean obviously we have to do it for the band sometimes but about like two years ago I just like basically cut it out completely from my life so like I don't follow my friends I don't I'm like the last person to hear about anything like (laughs) I mean honestly I listen to like um You know, I listen to, like, NPR, listen to, like, Morning Edition when I wake up. I guess that's, like, me keeping tabs on, like, the world, you know? I mean, I know that's a left-wing propaganda machine, though. (laughs) I see, like, I don't know. I think, like... I think the proliferation of things on the Internet and and different podcasts and social feeds and everything like that, I don't even think people can call NPR and PBS liberal propaganda anymore. It's, It's... they're, like, literally the only ones that are giving you facts. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could make an argument that, like, they're, like, left-leaning, but, I mean, I don't know. To me, they're just, like, the most bland way to hear about what's happening in the world without, like, a bunch of fucking bullshit, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of it. That's kind of, like, all I really do. My television is broken right now, so I haven't even... <laughs> I mean, and that's my dog, sorry. Uh, I mean, I used to definitely, like, watch cable news and shit. Um, definitely back in that time, too, when, like, it was just, like, the fear machine and, like, everything, you know, putting duct tape on everything and fucking anthrax and all that, you know? I mean, it was pretty easy to get sucked into that, like, little fucking K-hole, but, like... I don't know. I don't really do that anymore. If you enjoyed that clip, you should check out the After the Deluge podcast, wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh, We have full episodes there, as well as right here on this YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button and maybe check out whatever's being suggested to you right here. Thanks so much.